bro, what the fuck? There's like this car following me. following me see he, he like just pulled over to the side What's up everybody and you know what's up straight up positivity but today we're gonna be doing what son straight up negativity and what I mean by that is uh, thieves are using these things now to do bad things uh, this is the uh, Apple AirTag so we're gonna talk about uh, how thieves are using this to probably steal your car and speaking of thieves what's up with that thief Dude, he has like this resemblance of someone I know. Hmm. Anyways, F that guy trying to steal my car. Man, let's get to this video. So for the Apple AirTag, this came out early 2021. And I actually did a video on how you can put this in your car, hidden somewhere inside your car. And if a thief actually stole your car, you can use Find My App on Apple. Uh, download it at the Apple Store and you could actually track your car and it actually worked I have a whole video I'll post it right here check that video out first but now thieves are much smarter where they're actually putting these on the outside of your car and then they're following you home so they could probably steal your car later on so the question is how are these thieves doing it so what happens is with this air tag uh, using an Apple phone you register it on the Find My App. Once you register it, it basically can detect uh, anywhere this Apple AirTag is located, uh, normally via Bluetooth. So if there's an iPhone or any Apple products, so if there's a Apple product around 30 feet, their Bluetooth is on, it sends a signal uh, to this AirTag, sends it to the iCloud, and then the iCloud sends it to the actual owner that owns the AirTag, so they're notified where their uh, Apple AirTag is. So now how thieves are doing it is by putting this Apple AirTag in different locations and then they turn on their Find My App and then they actually can locate where this AirTag is. Now if it's in your car, hidden somewhere on the outside of your car, they can follow you home and once you're home, if you don't park your vehicle in a garage or so, like leave it on the driveway or in a carport at an apartment, when you're basically in your home, you know, just relaxing so forth, this is when the thieves would actually go to your car and probably steal things inside your car or steal a car itself. So different places they can put this air tag could be uh, behind your license plate. could be uh, hidden by your gas tank now of course normally your gas cover would be locked but some cars older model cars especially they don't have any kind of lock they just have the gas cap so they could probably hide this air tag somewhere in that gas tank area and even worse they could put some kind of double stick tape on the air tag. And then they can just stick it somewhere around your car, such as underneath the fender by your tires. Or just somewhere where you don't see it 
but yet uh, they know where they put it in. So like for my car example, I have all these uh, aerodynamics um, manufactured by Ubi Made. Shout out to you, Ubi. And you could they can put it like right here in the uh, aero kit, double stick it. I wouldn't even know it's in there. So then of course, if it's in there, like uh, let's just say I'm at the uh, the mall, you know, doing my shopping, the thief put this air tag in my underneath my aero kit. I go home, I leave my car in the driveway, and then boom, they're, they've been following me and they can practically steal things from my car. So, uh, which totally sucks as a car owner, right? But uh, that means you just gotta step up your game and put some type of other security on your car. <laughs> So let's talk about what you can do to help um, not have your car being stolen or broken into. Um, so things you can do. If a thief put puts uh, one of these air tags on your car, if you have an Apple phone, uh, downloading the Find My app, you could actually, um, it actually will give you a notification if there is a Apple AirTag, an unknown Apple AirTag that's on your car. It'll send an indication on your phone saying there's an unknown AirTag uh, with you. And it'll actually give you a map as well of like uh, dotted lines of where you've been driving and where it's been tracking you down. So it, it is very precise on where you're at. So yeah, it's a little scary, you know, people following you. So uh, if you have an Apple phone, make sure you have the Find My app uh, on your phone so you could at least have that as a indication if there is an unknown air tag following you now if you have an android phone there also is another app for that it's called tracker detect app so i don't unfortunately i don't have a uh, android phone but i will just uh, show a picture of how that uh, app uh, looks like but yes they have the uh, tracker detect app and it works the same way supposedly where if you know there is an unknown air tag in your car or on your car and it's been following you it'll send an indication um, to your phone so those are two important apps uh, if you have an I iphone uh, that make sure you have the find my app if you have an android phone make sure you have that uh, tracker detector app so now what do you do if uh you get that unknown air tag uh pop up on your phone so one cool thing is the air tag will actually start beeping it'll play a sound um, it's like indicating that it's lost because normally that's what it's meant for right that these air tags if you lost your keys or you lost your purse you lost something and you have this air tag attached to it you can track it down so you would use your iPhone and it would start beeping kind of like uh, playing hot and cold right so uh, once you're hot it, the beeps gets uh, much louder and also on your screen it'll start indicating where this air tag is located so uh, if you do find one okay so number one thing this air tag if it is functional it is actually registered to an owner so of course you notify law enforcement um, probably also call 911 if you're in the u.s call 911 saying that uh, you think you've been tracked or go to the uh, nearest uh, law enforcement office uh, your local uh, police department and they can, uh, I'm not sure how they track this down, but maybe they have uh, some type of connection with Apple and so forth, because you know, this is like breaking the law and you're stalking somebody. So uh, the police department would uh, assist you on how we can track down the original owner of this air tag. And then of course, that is the thief, is the owner's the thief. And then if the thief gets, uh, gets caught, then you know they'll get in trouble from uh, law enforcement now after reporting that you've been followed uh, one way to stop the uh, owner slash thief from following you you could actually turn this off now how to turn it off is you push the uh, this metal part down give it a slight rotation counterclockwise and when you do so it will actually open all right open so this is the cover and there is the battery so there you go 
So it's the battery, the uh, housing, and then the cover that covers the uh, battery there. So yeah, so basically this is like turning it off uh, when you open up that air tag. So uh, by doing so, so that would be a good uh, as well safety precaution is to um, remove the cover, remove the battery, and then uh, it, it won't basically function at anymore. So that the thief won't have any type of signal uh, locating their air tag. So what happens if you remove the cover and basically turning the Apple air tag off? All right, so it's actually disconnected. All right. So for example, this is the last location it got. And then now, if we try to click on find, it says more light required. Okay, search, searching for signal. Try moving to a different location. But basically it doesn't know where it's at because it is turned off. So. The thief would basically start seeing this. It's like, uh, oh, I can't find, I can't find the air tag. So the question is, what happens if the battery is put back in? Let's see what happens. And there it is. It's here. It knows where it's at. See, so. Make sure you uh, take off that cover and disconnect that battery. Then the uh, owner or thief can't locate you. And in case you don't know how the Apple AirTag works when you're trying to locate the AirTag uh, with your phone, uh, we'll just test it out right now. All right, so it tells me it's around nine feet away. So I'm walking to my car and look at that gives me a little arrow five feet to my left so it's playing that hot and cold game oh like oh i guess i gotta go that way oh there you go six feet ahead let's open my door okay four feet three feet two feet it's nearby nearby oh 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 and bam, it's here. Yes, it is right there, right on the dash. I appreciate for you watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it, but also remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. But for now, keep smiling, be safe, and always stay driven. Peace.